Good morning, everybody. Today we're going to be starting a new series called the Freedom Series. If you're like me, there have been certain areas in your life where you've wanted the freedom, but sometimes you feel a bit stuck. And uh, we're going to be looking at different topics today, which are going to help us pinpoint these different areas in our life that can help us grow and to experience the freedom that Christ gives. The first topic is bitter root judgments. And you're probably thinking, what on earth is that all about? Let me read from Hebrews chapter 12, verse 6. It says this, See to it that no one falls short of the grace of God and that no bitter root grows up to cause trouble and defile many. I remember reading a book by John and Paula Sanford many years ago, and it's this Christian couple who had experience of counseling individuals and also couples and bringing them into uh, freedom. And what they'd noticed that uh, people with emotional problems, people with addictions, people who suffered with rejection, people who had anger issues, that in some cases at the root of these issues was a bitterness or bitter root that grew up inside them, caused by um, hurt in the past, perhaps from their parents, Maybe, uh, for instance, their dad was an alcoholic and never paid them attention. Maybe they were sent away and never got to see one of their parents. Uh, Maybe there was emotional or physical physical abuse. Maybe they were just neglected um, as a child. Whatever the area that is, unforgiveness has developed, a bitter root that has begun to grow up and at some point you have judged your parents and said something like, I would never become an alcoholic like my dad. I would never neglect my children like my mother neglected me. And you find this spiritual law at work. Remember, Jesus says, judge not that you be not judged. Whatever measure you use will be measured back to you. And you see here this bitter root judgment that you're exercising upon that person who has wronged you is causing you trouble but also defiling others around you so for instance if uh, you you experienced your father was an alcoholic and abused you in some way and you've judged him for it you find yourself struggling with addictions and it's affecting others around you if your father was or your mother was angry all the time and you said i would never be angry and you put that judgment upon them and you find yourself Getting angry, Uh, not only does that cause you trouble, but it defiles others around you. And at the root of this is unforgiveness. At the root of this is bitterness that is growing up. And uh, at the root of this is a judgment that you have placed upon your parents. And it's really important for you to know that us as individuals, as humans, none of us are perfect. And remember, our parents, if they have acted in a way that might be contrary towards scripture, uh, they may not have known what they were doing. They may have experienced that same action to them growing up. So it's really important for us to recognize that and for us then to uh, change that unforgiveness for forgiveness, change that judgment for grace in those areas. So I'm going to help you Now, if you feel that you have held bitterness towards somebody who has wronged you, if you felt you have judged somebody wrongly and you feel that bitter root judgment growing up within you, which is causing you trouble and defiling others around you, there are some steps that you can take that can help you right now. First is to confess your bitter root judgment. Name whom you judged and what you judged them for. Uh, So that's the first thing. Second, pray for forgiveness. Forgive yourself and repent and renounce your sin, which means to fall out of agreement with it. Here's the important part. Ask God to nail your sin of judgment to the cross. So if you've judged someone, you say, I bring that judgment to death on the cross. I nail it to the cross and hand it over to the Lord. And remember, allow yourself to grieve of any feelings of pain or loss and you release them to God and allow the Holy Spirit to come in to you to heal that deep wound and that deep need. Forgive, bring the judgment to death on the cross 
and also allow God to come in and to heal you deep within. And I can assure you, if you had a bitter root judgment in your life, that you had held on to that unforgiveness, that you judged perhaps your parents, that if you take these steps and from the heart you deal with the Lord, I can guarantee you that you will start to experience freedom again. And remember when those them feelings come up, remember we don't always forget. You just say, no, Lord, I have dealt with this and exchange those uh, uh, unhelpful thoughts for positive attitude towards the person who had wronged you, knowing that, you know, they may have gone through that same thing themselves. Anyway, I hope that's really helpful and I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to be talking about forgiveness. Bye.